Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man, listen. What is going on, everyone? Today is the day. Today it goes down. Today I'm finally taking on the 10,000 calorie challenge. It's about to go down. In the words of Dan Hardin, we're going in. All right, so I'm gonna get my breakfast sorted. Let's get this shit cracking. 100 grams of crunchy nut. Two Belgian buns, two scoops of protein. All right, so let's get it cracking. Now what I did is I used the protein shake as milk. Oh, you should see, um, Matt does fitness, he did um, the 15k challenge. We were meant to do the 10k challenge together, but he was getting so many, so many requests since he hit 15,000 subscribers to do the 15k challenge that he had to do it. But his first meal, my Lord, I felt sick. Two scoops of protein and a hundred milliliters of olive oil. Disgusting. Feels different to just normally eat him. You mean just normally eat? There's no pressure. It's just you eat him. But now it's like there's a point you have to reach, and there's like this weird pressure inside. It's crazy. Almost forgot this. Mm. Alright guys, so just mm. uploading a video and getting ready to go to the gym. Mm. So, uh, pack of 12 jack cakes mm. and the banana that I was meant to eat with breakfast and I forgot. Every time I eat a banana, I think of that. Sounds really gay. <laughs> Matty's big ones. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the gym. Today is back and biceps. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what we have in store after the workout. It is currently 9.48. Yeah. Woo! Such a nice day today and I'm rocking my ice blue intensity stringer. Oh, good back session actually, really good back session. But now I'm heading to um, McDonald's. Mm -mm. Don't normally eat at McDonald's but I need the calories. So I'm gonna 
I'll show you what order when I get there. And then it's much time. Now what's gonna make you go oh, it's at McDonald's. Currently listening to Obese to Beast. Not watching because I'm driving. Alright, so let's pause this for a second. Let's figure out what I'm getting. Hello? Uh, could I get a um, big tasty with bacon large meal with a diet diet cook? No, I said big tasty meal, not barbecue legend. And um, two double cheeseburgers, please. Uh, no, that's it, thanks. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Thanks. Alright, cool. So, I'm hungry right now, so I'm going to eat in the car park. It's going to be the two double cheeseburgers. the big tasty and large fries so let's get down to fitness I remember <laughs> my dad um, lives in Ghana he works in Ghana and um, you know he's setting up businesses out there and stuff like that and McDonald's isn't out there <laughs> he came back to England um, recently, and he was, <laughs> he was I want to go to a McDonald's. I want to get a big tasty. The yam the burger, like it was, you know, it's the nicest thing he's ever eaten. Yammed it quick, and he was like, I didn't like the big tasty. It wasn't big, and it wasn't tasty. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> This is too funny. Oh man. Yeah, my mum and dad are crazy. My whole family is crazy. Yeah. It's not that bad. Listening to John talk about the whole dad bod thing. It makes sense. Although the girl that originally started it needs to work on her flipping issues. But, and that's, that's, a, that's one of the problems actually. I posted up a Facebook status the other day saying that the person closest to you can sometimes be your biggest saboteur to destroy your results or looking for your results. Like, you'll start getting in shape and they see that you're looking more appealing and they'll be like, oh, I don't like that because they're insecure about themselves. It's annoying, it's annoying as hell. That's why um, Naisha and I work really well because we're both into the same thing. We both understand it that, you know, there are going to be off seasons, there's going to be peak season and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I don't get it myself, but yeah, good video, John. I liked it. Alright, so I still got one double cheeseburger left. I'm gonna save that for a bit later.
my strategy at the moment is to not not eat till I'm like massively full. So to eat, get a lot of calories in, but not feel like bloated and sickly just yet. That's gonna come later on. So right now, just feeding it in slowly. I'll probably feel hungry for that double cheeseburger in about 30 minutes, so when I get home. Let's put it into my fitness pal. So that meal so far, 1,774 calories. Um, feeling quite hungry for that other double cheeseburger actually. Might eat that now. Diet drinks, no, I think one of the rules are no um, extra calories from drinks. I've got my water and I've got Diet Coke. All right. Woo. Gains are good. Look at that chest separation. All right, peace. Yes, people. Looking fresh. What do you think of the Ray-Bans? I've had these for different years. I used to do um, event organizing when I was in Bristol. Making money. This is one of the first things I bought. Yeah man, heading down to Rockwell Park. Um, there's some, there's all, every year there's like a, like an event. So like people will come with their stands and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> We're just gonna meet Naisha, but um, right now I've got another 12 Jaffa cake. It's gonna be munching these. And I also got <laughs> Aldi's versions of um, Pringles. They call them stackers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna finish both packs of that. As I'm on the move and doing this, I might not be able to show every damn true, but like when Max Tuning did his one, I bought it, I'm damn well gonna eat it. I ain't no liar, the channel's called The Truth Baby, and I ain't gonna lie about what I'm eating, so. And finish these Jaffa cakes. If I have any leftover, I'll let y'all know. I'll probably eat the Pringles. Sorry, stackers. <laughs> um, when I get down to Brock or Park. Um, so I can concentrate on the road. I'll catch y'all in a bit. Stuck in a little bit of traffic. Last Jaffa cake. So I'll wipe that into my fitness pal. And then we see what I want. I think I've hit around the halfway point now. And it's 221. It's alright. See y'all at the park. Alright guys, so I'm here at Brockwell Park. Shit loads of food here, but it's I don't know, I might get a few bits, but it'd be hard to track in my fitness pal. So we'll see. Yeah, just got to find Naisha. See you guys in a sec. Alright, so at Brockwell Park, pretty mad. Might come down here tomorrow as well. I think we, we are coming down here. Yeah. Naisha's here. Alright, and I'm gonna have my fake Pringles. Stackers. Gonna eat the whole thing. Again, I'm not gonna film every bite. 
but I bought it. I don't like wasting money. I don't like lying. So I'm gonna eat. So, record a few bits, but I can't really hold everything at the same time. So I'm gonna eat these now. Halfway in. This ain't too bad. Tastes good too. Pringles, sorry, stackers, done. And that's about a thousand calories in there, in the whole pack. Later. We just chilling. <laughs> chilling. Alright, actually, let's have a look at how many calories I'm on so far. I've got 3,000 calories left. It's pretty easy. So it'll be um, pizza, um, yeah, pizza, Krispy Kremes, Pop Tarts, and I think um, those Oat Valley cereal bars. I think that's them. Yeah. Yeah, nice and easy. We're gonna chill here for about another hour and then um, we're gonna head out and get the crispy cream, baby. But yeah, chilling, chilling. Alright, guys, we are. We've just left uh, Brockwell Park and. Let me just steady this camera. Got me some pop tarts. So, gonna eat the whole box. And there's two in each pack. Yeah, so what's next? When Logan bought the um, red velvet ones, to body power oh my gosh so tasty <laughs> right, so i'm gonna eat these two and the battery's starting to die now so i'm gonna save these three more packs for when i get home but to you guys at the house all right people so back home I've got one, two, three more packets to get through. Let's do this, man. So right now I'm just catching up on um, someone who I haven't watched in a while. Steve Cook. Check out his new video. Actually, the funny thing is, I'm not full. Sick of these. Oh. Pack of two left. Just sickly now. I'm gonna save her a little bit later. Yes. Three packs done. I left to go. I just have a drink of water and then finish that back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. People of the future. What does that mean? Anywho, 
Time to finish this 10 calorie, 10,000 calorie challenge, which has been pretty good. I mean, we'll see how this goes down, but the rest of the day has been all right. So what have we got to finish off the day for this challenge? We have got a meat feast pizza. Four Krispy Kremes and some hugging does that's it that will put me on about 10,000 something calories let's see how this goes down all right time to dig in whilst we watch when I said there's a terrible Sandra Bullock movie probably because it's Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves and let's face it Keanu Reeves isn't exactly the most talented and charismatic of actors Anywho, food time. Pizza done. Oh. I take a little 20 minute break and start on the donuts. Another 20 minute break. Then do the ice cream and the macros. <laughs> 1,293 grams of carbs. 416 grams of, pro of fat and 275 grams of protein. My protein was pretty much bang on. Carbs, that's probably what I did for the Arnold's, which made me a little bit bloated. The fats, never had fats that high before. <laughs> yeah, 10,000 calories, almost done. Donuts and the ice cream to go. See you in a second. <coughs> it's that time for the Krispy Kremes. No more glazed. Four Krispy Kremes, done. Try to avoid the whole, getting a whole box of Krispy Kremes because even that four, I feel sickly from just eating Krispy Kremes, not four for food. Like I said before, variety is the key. Don't let your mind mess you up. Might get me another sugar free soda. Alright, time for the finale. The last 
Pump it up. Four hundred, five hundred calories are all even up. My fitness pal tells me that I need to eat this ice cream to hit ten thousand calories. So as you see, we have two hundred and eleven grams. Let's go and sit down and eat. They're scared of the V tape. They're scared. It's giving me brain freeze. Mm. A little sugar drunk. A little sugar today. Sugar drunk. Carbohydrate intoxication of the sucrose nature. Staring up to it's really dodgy on camera. I'm, I'm doing this. Find patrons of YouTube, it seems I have completed your so-called challenge. What is the time you ask? 10.25. Still with an hour and a half the day to go. Fellow patrons, this challenge was not much of a challenge. I paced myself quite well through the day. I think I've accomplished it with fine precision. 15,000, you say? Will it happen? You'll have to wait and see. So let's conclude today. Lot of food, lots and lots of food, but in reality, 10,000 calories is a big cheat, normal cheat day. So I'm not gonna call it the 10,000 calorie challenge. 15K would be a challenge. And I'm not sure I wanna go down that route because I don't wanna drink oil like Matt. That was disgusting. So, there you have it. Let's check my fitness power one more time. Oh guys. There we go. Ten thousand and eighteen calories for the day. Oh I just scroll up so you can see why I ate in its entirety. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, with the world, aunties, uncles, babies, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Peace. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I never front it. I got my whole cool life.